Hey, what's good, gamers? We're back with another Yu-Gi-Oh! video. I mean, what were you expecting? Were you expecting Pokemon from me at this point? Magic the Gathering? No, of course we're here to open Yu-Gi-Oh! Now, we've got a couple of cool products today. Before we talk about our fancy, cool, awesome products, though, I made a stop, not to spoil anything, to my local OTS shop. And they had in stock, oops, if I can learn to play with my cameras here, bear with me here. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. I can't change my zoom because of because of the video mode I'm in. I'm so sorry. Let me just fix that back up. There we go. But let's bring this up here. We got the awesome Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight playmat. So I actually now officially own a real Yu-Gi-Oh playmat instead of using an MTG playmat, which again, I, it was a nice mat, okay? I actually really liked it. Um, but in the meantime... I think Dark Magician Girl here uh, stands a little more of a place on a Yu-Gi-Oh! opening channel. And of course, like I said, not a Pokemon or Magic the Gathering channel. Uh, as for our products today, so we've got... I'm going to go round two on the Legendary Duelist Season 2. Love the product, love the cards, love the stuff. Um, I want more Blue-Eye stuff, so we're going to go and get more Blue-Eye stuff. That's the game plan. Uh, we also picked up today uh, the other... See it here, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. 2015... Megaton, and this one is the Dark Requiem XYZ Dragon, I believe, Z's Dragon, whatever you say. So we've got a couple goodies in there. Um, we're gonna see what we can, what we can get, what we can open, what we can, you know, add to the fancy collection that we own now. Uh, so I guess why don't we start with the Legendary Duelists box? Why don't we get into that here? Uh, let's kind of see what fancy stuff we can get. We're once again going to witness my absolutely abysmal, abysmal, abysmal opening of boxes. Bear with me here. I will eventually at some point learn to open these boxes. What am I shooting for in this? Uh, I want more blue eyes stuff. Blue eyes ultimate dragon, blue eyes white dragon, uh, blue eyes twin burst dragon, blue eyes something dragon. Um, other than that, you know what? I'm just hoping for a nice promo that we can, uh, you know, keep aside. Uh... Other than that, no expectations. So let's open this guy up. I guess you guys all want to see me open this up, so I'm not lying to you. But what I have, uh, maybe. Oh, here we go. All right. So we got the. Is this the same? Yeah, I think this is the same dice. No, I have the other dice. Where's my dice out? No, I. Yeah, that's right. I've got. I've got the white dice. I, I can't find it, but yeah, I've got. I've got this one. So I just got the other. Focus, focus. There we go. The other blue eyes white dragon. So all right, so so two for two in the blue eyes dice. That's a really good start with this guy. Um let's put the promo over there. We're gonna see what we get when we finish opening the packs up. Focus. There we go. So we got once again with this guy. Uh I'm sure you're used to watching me open this by now. We have two thick boy packs. Um Again, gunning for blue eyes stuff. Uh, there is also a mixture of Kaiba stuff and my Valentine's, so Harpy support and, and, and that kind of fun stuff. So let's uh, pull this pack open. And we'll see how nicely I can actually open my packs today. I know in the past maybe I've been a little bit brutal with them, so we'll see what we can do. So, right to start off, we have a Neutron Blast, Dragon Shrine. Blackward Close. Cybernetic Revolution. Wasn't that? No, that was a that was the name of a booster set. But Decoy Dragon. Blackwing, Panaki of the Waxing Moon. Of course, Blackwings will be up there. Anybody watching the progression series knows anything about the Blackwings. Uh, we have Abyss Actor Extras. And this is our first foil. We have Crossroads Dragon. Alright. Whoop. Spoiler. So our first Ultra, not a colored Ultra. Um, let's try to get in the middle of the camera here. Let's pull this over there. Apologize, I'm still working on my setup here, so we're still trying to figure that out. But Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. All right, so there was the Blue Eyes support that I was really gunning for. And a Cyber Eternity Dragon. That's a really good pull right now, uh, right after the banless Cyber Dragon stuff. Going big, we got a new start. Cyber Dragon. Cy Cy Cyber Dragon deck coming in. So uh, we've got well, like a green color name on that one. So uh, that's always a good pull with the Cyber Support coming in to have uh, to have some Cyber Dragons. Uh, Harpy Dancer, Cyber Egg Angel. A lot more commons, a lot more Harpy stuff. Harpy's Hunting Ground and Rose Tentacles. So not a bad start for the dragons off the bat. Um, hopefully we can kind of keep this momentum going here. Uh, we'll pull those out of the way. 
and we'll go through to pack number two. It's been a little bit since I've opened some product. Um, again, wasn't really actually expecting to buy a lot until like, I don't know, next couple weeks, but I went to the OTS store today. I was like, ah, you know, I might, I might browse, I might whatever, and come on. They just, they had some cool stuff. You can't not buy it. Also, look at that gap there. I I have not made that. That's the way it came out of the pack here. So uh, you can tell where the yeah, the foils are. But look, if I push that, look. See? That's just that's what it is. All right. So we've got a Harpy Lady number two. We have my hands out of the way. Beacon of White. Galaxy Zero. Dragon Spirit of White. So anybody building Blue Eyes decks, that's always a uh, common one. Photon Hand. Abyss Script Romantic Terror. A Priestess with the Eyes of Blue, some more blue eye support. And our first foil, we get Star Leech Photon Blast Dragon as our Ultra. Uh, once again, no color Ultra. Um, not not a bad pull, though. Not going to complain. The Ultimate Creature of Destruction. Blue Eyes Neutron Blast. You got that in a blue rare. Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. There we go. That one's going in the collection binder. Again, I know, not a high-end card. Nobody's nobody's getting excited over this on, on, on normal Yugi Tui. I don't care. I love this card. Uh, I kind of wish I could get the gold text, but uh, you know what? I, I'll, I, I, I'm not going to complain. I'll shut up. I, I, I'm completely happy with this. Uh, we've got some other goodies here. So Luna Lights, uh, Elegant Egotist. There's a very old-style classic. Rose Archer. Cyber Angel Izana. Anybody who's playing Dry Turn right now is probably mad about Ben 10 being limited to one. That was a big card gone. The Cyber Angels. More Luna Light stuff. And a Fallen Angel of Roses. Look at the artwork on that card. Not something else. Uh, come on. Come on. Focus. Like, that's a common. I think that's, that's such a wicked just art for a common. That would look so nice in a secret. All right. Now, the moment everybody's been waiting for is. What do we get for our promo? Of course, I like to keep these sealed. So, um, you know, first of all, just because I care too much about card condition um, or keeping the cards that I have in good condition, keeping them in good condition. Uh, but, you know, we'll, uh, we'll keep this guy sealed. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? A Harpy Perfumer. All right. So no luck on the uh, the blue eyes at all in the promos or the galaxy eyes or anything blue eyes. But you know what? I'm not going to complain. We're going to keep this thing sealed. Um, see what we want to do with it. Keep it, sell it, not sure. We'll think about it, but like the falling on that. Like, I just, I don't know, man. I, I, I think I just buy these cards with the art half the time. All right, so let's get into the big part of this video. The big part everybody I'm sure has been waiting for is our Megaton. So we're going to have, now, now I'm not going to get surprised by this one. I'm fully expecting the, the Platinum Secret Rare, whatever they call it. But man, when I open that Odd Eyes, by the way, check that video out. But when I opened that Odd Eyes tin, that promo caught me so off guard. I can't even open anything. Bear with me. I don't accept donations, but maybe I'll need to start accepting knives. There we go. Will they even be able to get me? Somebody mail me a knife? I'm sure that would cost some red flags trying to go over customs or even just through the mail, I'm sure. All right, so plastic is off. Life is much easier now that I've gotten rid of it. Let's pull this tin open. Make sure I get in the center. Uh, bear with me here. Just gotta fix the camera up and we'll pull this tin off. Let's have a look. Oh, wow, yes. All right, that's a nice promo. So we are gonna open this one up because there is other cards that come in this box. I'm just gonna pull the tin out of the way here for a second just to get me some room. Uh, we will open this one up because people wanna see exactly what you get. So of course you get one card, Dark Rebellion XYZ Dragon, or Z's Dragon, sorry. I know, I know, I know, I'm a Yu I'm a Yu Gi Oh boomer. I I played before Synchros were a thing. I don't get this link summoning in the pendulums. I can't even say my friggin' summoning types right. Alright. Get that open nice and gentle try to get all the plastic and whatnot out of the way here we've got our dark rebellion promo Let's see if i can just center that just a little bit better there we go that that might be better get a little more of dark magician girl's face old entity hastor that look at the art like that is such a even just as a super i'm gonna have to do an instagram post about that by the way follow me on instagram if you're watching um, you know, 
Shout me out. I buy cards sometimes. Sam. <laughs> and a Castell the Sky Blaster Mus Musketeer. Musketeer. Love the artwork on these cards. I think these are friggin' nice. Definitely gonna be probably binder collection. I can't imagine they're worth like anything for selling. You know, I mean, like, yeah, it's whatever. So let's get into the tin. So we've got three packs into this tin. I'm going to just organize myself here because I've got things left and right scattered everywhere. I'm glad, by the way, with the tin promos. Uh, I mean, I'm not sure if they're gonna do tin promos for the new tins. They didn't do promos for the 2020 or yeah, 2020. Uh, what do they call that? The Lost Sacred Memories tin? What are you going to call that? The, the Dragoon tin. Um, I'm glad they actually, like, you know, wrap up and cover those in plastic. Because um, I don't know if anybody's ever watched openings of, like, or, or opened the old, old tins from, like, 2002 to 2003 and so on. They never protected them. They just put a few packs in the box um, through the, you know, through basically it was just, you know, three packs, throw your card behind it. Nope, it's there. And if you've ever seen those openings, those cards get scuffed. You rarely ever get a really, 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 really good promo unless you get a tin that was, like, never manhandled. Uh, but anyways, enough of me talking. More opening. So let's kind of just, let's, let's go through and see. I, I, I don't remember what comes in these in, in the Mega mega Tin, especially the 2015 set. I know I've opened the four, and I've had good luck when I opened the Odd Eyes Pit tin. So, I don't know. Let's just let's have a, have a look-see. See what we can get. So what do we get? We get an Artifact a Labris. Labris. So we got Raid Raptors in this. Okay. Performapal Partnaga, Cloud Castle. Yeah, that's that's definitely a castle in the clouds. That's for sure. Infernoid Piatti, our raid after readiness. So Fluffle Owl is our first uh, rare. Not a bad rare, actually. The Fluffle stuff still has a little bit of well, a little bit of support, just just a little bit. What do we get for our next card? Our ultra rare Infernoid Harmatic. Harmatic? Is that how you say that? I'm gonna assume that's how you say that. Infernoid Harmatic as uh, an ultra. We have an upside down, an upside down secret. We have a time space trap hole upside down. There we go. Get myself in order here, and I have to re up myself here. And as our super, we have a neo a neo galaxy ice tachyon dragon as our super. So not a terrible pack there. Not going to complain. Uh, a few more promos, despot stuff, clip stuff, and everything else in the middle in between. So two more packs to go. Maybe we get more upside down secrets. We'll see. Let me just pull my stuff out of the way here so I can get myself in order. Whoever that was driving, they got loud speakers. So they drove by the house, booming. Bass boost, boys. Punch in the box. Raid Raptor, Rise Falcon. Uni Zombie. Look at them. They're just having a good time. They're just having a good time. Command Performance. Super Heavy Samurai Blue Brawler. More Samurai stuff. More samurai stuff. So the scales is our rare. Cleefort stealth. Wow, look at that. Look at the falling on those. I just love the falling on those. So Cleefort stealth. What do we get for our secret? Is it upside down? No, it's not upside down. Aurea, the Sylvan High Arbiter. All right. So that is a, again, real nice secret. Not going to complain about that whatsoever. And the Monarchs Erupt is our super. So no Jinzo this time around. What did we get last time for a super? We got like a Jinzo... Uh, Lord, maybe? I can't remember. I always love getting Jinzo stuff. Jinzo's such a classic. Whoops. Let's not, not knock everything out of the way here. All right. So we've got one more pack to fire up here. Um, let's just see what other goodies we can get in here. I'm going to have to go through. I bought some binders at work, some more sleeves. I'm going to go through now, and I'm going to start organizing all of my fun stuff. So I want to have basically a binder of just stuff I'm collecting to keep that I don't want to get rid of because I like it too much. Uh, I want to get a binder of just like, I don't know, stuff that I might have for sale or stuff that I want to sell. And I'm going to get a, I'm going to get a all other foils binder. I think I'm going to make a third binder up for just like foils that I don't want to sell, but I don't I like, you know, dollar, dollar foils, if you will. Maybe I can bulk them out. We're, we're going to see. I'm going to do, so I got to do some organizing. That's I've got, I've got the weekend off here, so <laughs> we'll spend some time with that. We got some Satellar Knight stuff. Battle Guard King. This is hilarious. So everybody goes, oh yeah, Battle Guard. I remember like Swamp Battle Guard and Lava Battle Guard from like, you know, Meta Raiders or whatever pack that came in way back in the day. And like, wow, that must be their king. So the funny part, oh, don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. The funny part of this is, is this has no synergy with the Battle Guard cards where the whole point of the Battle Guard cards were to be like, you know, 
work, let's work together. There's no synergy. Uh, it basically says once per turn you can tribute any number, any number of warrior type monsters except this card, which they are not warriors, they're fiends, I think. Uh, or maybe they're bees, I can't remember. Anyway, so yeah, <laughs> I just think that's hilarious. I uh, have more despot stuff. Chain to spell, my hand's in the way. Super heavy samurai soul piercer and perform a pal turn toad turn toad say that three times quick turn toad turn toad turn toad yeah can't do that we have a sky cavalry centauria as our rare stellar knight delta rose all right so more stellar knight stuff that is not a bad secret it is right side up so that's a thing the cairn gorgon anti luminescent knight fluffle cat soul strike gem knight lapis Still haven't gotten a Garnet yet. That's probably a good thing, maybe. Deathspot 002 and a Galaxy Mirror Sage. Whoops, get my stuff in order here. So that, uh, that's our product. Oh, wait, no, you're waiting. You're saying, Jesso, 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 Mail Day. What did you get from Mail Day? I got a few things in Mail Day that we're actually going to talk about. I'm going to go through a few things uh, and kind of like re-up everybody because I get a lot of stuff in the mail now. I've been mailing stuff out, getting stuff. So let's just jump up on the shelf here and we're going to pull down a few things that I've gotten. Uh, one of these. We've got one of these. Uh, one of these. And a little secret for the end. All right. So I uh, got a little greed happy on eBay and online, TCG player. Uh, <laughs> so not just one thing to show you guys today. I've got a few things to show you. So first thing, we've got a Windstorm of Ataqua. So uh, this is a video game promo. I've been, again, really heavy on collecting the video game promos. I really want to fill, kind of fill my collection with those. Um, this is from pa Power of Chaos Yugi. So like it was like a 2004 PC game, I think. Um, the Dark Magician card from that set is is gone wild now but uh again i i love the foiling on these video game promos like the parallel foiling um yeah i couldn't not get it by any means so that was one of the cards that i got um definitely not super expensive you can pick them up for like five bucks but i i couldn't help myself uh i terribly taped top loader uh i know i'm gonna get shot for that but uh a quintet magician again nope nobody's nobody's gawking out these cards but i just love that's like i just love the dark magician stuff so much um and i i just i had to pick this up so that's from dual power that's a much newer i think that's probably the newest of the cards that i've got kind of in my like mail day collection if you want to call it that uh but really happy about that one um probably the biggest one that i got in the mail and this is the one i was happiest i i won big on this one i got a hell of a price on this um now this might just be a trap hole to some people but some people might know exactly what this card is from now this is a hobby league card so a hobby league promo and what that was is what i remember back when i was a kid back when i was a young and um i used to go to the library uh, and i would do like Yu Gi Oh tournaments or whatever with kids i mean it was all of us are playing our junk decks you know throwing in red eyes and whatever you want into it and anyways they after the end of it after playing so many or doing this or that you got these as cards so just like they kind of at a tournament store they give you a tournament fact now for playing they used to give you these hobby league cards out and nobody ever thought of them back in the day they were just kind of cheap junk but like now now there's a big collection market for them and I understand why the first of all nostalgia second of all these cards look at the foiling on these i mean this is unreal unreal like second to none um but the other thing is uh, anybody that actually owns these cards or, or knows is they don't feel like regular like because these like feel like you know cardboardy like regular cards right like these just feel like a, just a piece of cardboard these feel like i don't know they feel like they're laminated uh, that's almost like, like i don't even know how to describe it like 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 that's got like density to it uh, that feels like a glossy like a like an overlay like i don't know it just feels like somebody thickly laminated these cards and that that's not just like you know this card alone all the hobby league promos that people got were always just like i don't know really a uh, really thick i don't know what 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 you know what their printing process was for them but there was obviously something that did much different than uh, you know just your typical Yu-Gi-Oh card because i've never felt anything like them uh but lastly i've got one more thing don't go away i'm sorry i know i'm running this on um i ended up when i was at the ots store today um they got a binder of some cool stuff and i couldn't help myself so i picked up a tin promo bpt004 lord of d now looking at it they considered it heavy play the front on it is a like, really good 
like oops sorry um yeah really really clean front let's just get on the on the front here like no scratches no dings the foiling looks good uh, even the corners are, are you know crisp um bottom one here is a little bit dinged up but but the back is where it uh where it gets its uh its terminology from so the back is as seen better days so you can see the edges in the corners run super nice so this is why you sleeve and protect kids uh but i guess one more surprise one final 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 thing i'm done i swear i've got one thing left is what's better than one lord of d10 promo than two lord of d10 promos so i actually ended up picking up two this guy here also same deal so it's considered heavy play again the front of them though um really nice this one here's got a little bit of a crease in it i'm gonna see if i can just pull in see how close that wants to zoom in maybe not maybe not today camera says no today there you can kind of see that crease kind of in the middle here but uh you know same deal um front looks really nice but back not super great so you can kind of see there that crease there is and the edge just kind of turned up so it's hard to find those promos in really, really, really good condition because realistically, when we were kids getting those tins, I mean, we were opening those up, we were firing those, you know, those promos in our decks, just playing whatever, just, and we would just ruin, ruin the hell out of these cards. I'm going to put a fresh, actually, no, I, I actually, no, I'm going to keep it in the sleeve. Um, anyways, that's really all I have to show you. I got no more surprises. That That's it. But uh, really happy with those purchases. I got them for a really killer price. I'm not going to complain. So uh, those were my big, big things uh, from that. Uh Probably not going to pull any more product again. I said I wasn't going to do it till the end of the month. Probably still not to the end of the month. Um, you know, adult stuff, bills, whatever. Uh, but I was happy I could pull that stuff. Impulse buys today. I just said, you know what? Why not? Anyways, have a good night, day, week, evening, weekend, whatever it is for you right now when you're watching this video. See you later. Captain Justice out. Peace.